Ladies and gentlemen, with the orchestra under the baton of Mr. Michael Marr, we proudly present Holiday Splendor. reflect on the meaning of peace and joy. Tonight we'd like to take a look at how this holiday season is celebrated all over the world and I can't think of a more perfect location than right here at World Showcase. But first I have two wonderful young friends I want you to meet. They'll be sharing all of this with us. This is Jocelyn and Chris. Hi Debbie. Good evening Miss Bird. Oh, good evening to you. Aren't they great? <laughs> and just wait until you hear them sing. Well now that we've gotten all acquainted, I know the perfect way to start out our evening with a wonderful celebration and the best word to describe it is tradition. Light to burn the perpetual lamp for one day, but a miracle occurred, 
and that lamp burned eight days and nights. To commemorate that miracle, the Feast of Life, or Hanukkah, has become a tradition. Each night, for eight nights, one candle is lighted on the menorah until all eight burn bright. and lots of to me and why we
happy Hanukkah, Tang Lung, and I have a new greeting for you. All ready? Happy Zagmuk. Happy Zagmuk? What's that? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Well, it's a celebration that the ancient Sumerians had 4,000 years ago. They exchanged gifts, good wishes, and of course you know about the Druids, right? Fluids? No, not, not fluids. Druids. They believed that if you burned a Yule log, it would keep away the evil spirit until the sun returned. They also had rituals where they used holly and mistletoe. Hey, wait a minute. This really does sound a lot like Christmas. You're right, Chris, it does. You know, a lot of the things that we celebrate are ancient pagan traditions, and most people don't even know what they're celebrating. But the real meaning of Christmas is a wonderful promise of great joy. It's very easy to learn, so as soon as you think you know it, we would love for you to join in and sing along with us. Oh, you think 
much colder than Switzerland and much further north, and back in time to a Russian winter of long ago, a land of ice and snow, and in the distance, the sound of sleigh bells. It's an old Russian tradition. Story. As a matter of fact, it begins in Austria, in a church long ago. <laughs> there was a young priest named Joseph, and he was working on his sermon for a midnight mass, when Franz, the organist, came bursting into his office and said, Father Joseph, our organ is broken. I've been working all day to fix it, and this means that we'll have no music for our Christmas Eve services. The priest was very disappointed, but he went on his appointed rounds in the parish. And as he came upon one house, a baby was born. This reminded him of the very first Christmas. So he composed a four stanza poem commemorating the birth of Christ. Well, when he got back to the church, he found Franz and he said, here's a guitar and the words for a new song. If we can't have our old organ, at least we can have a new song. Franz said, Father, I'm an organist. I only know three chords on the guitar. Then write us a song with three chords. And so Franz hummed and strummed, and finally he came up with a wonderful melody. And because that old organ broke down, Joseph Moore and Franz Gruber combined their hearts and gave the world this song.
Fun at night is an Austrian tradition. But you know, in our country, we have some traditional kinds of music, singing and dancing, that only happen right here in America. Watch and I'll show you what I mean. tradition of lights? Well, they do. Tonight, we'd like to present a world showcase of customs and Christmas traditions from all over the world. Wait, do you see all these traditions and everything that they'll be bringing? There are over 30 countries represented here tonight. Oh, the oceans across the sea. 
pretty with all the lights and all the gifts. But what about a kid like me? I don't think I understand what you mean. What do you do if you don't have anything to give? What can I give to the key? Give to the one who has everything. What can I give? What gift can I bring? What can I give to the key? What can I give to the key? You know, the answer is really very easy. It is the custom to release one white dove. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen.
very minute. We need a Disney Christmas